Uh, next one is from Vanilla Isis. Great name. Subject, Melanie Pillman's interview, Pillman's interview on Raw, 1997. Peace, gentlemen. As always, I hope you guys are doing as well. As always, I hope you guys are doing well. I rewatched the Melanie Pillman interview from Raw the night after her husband died. The entire interview is uncomfortable to watch. Melanie's openness to conduct the interview didn't bother me, as her demons around that time are well documented. I'm surprised why the WWE thought the interview was a good look for the brand. I can't help but shake my head and Vince asks, have you had an opportunity to think about what you as a single parent are going to do to support your five children? What are your guys' opinions on this segment? Do you think tragedies off-camera can be worked into the context of a professional wrestling show? And if so, what are some examples that worked? I don't. I, I didn't see this. Did it's, you a, see this? it's a mess, dude. I, just I just don't remember this at pi- all. Picture the guy's widow being interviewed on a pro wrestling show. That well, there was no place for it. There was no... It was just very awkward. I don't know why. Nobody seemed like... Jim Ross hated it. Of course, Cornette hated it. They were both there at the time. I don't know what Vince was thinking or why this was a good a good idea. Hmm. Tragedies Next that could some, be worked in yeah, the context. No, I have no yeah, idea. I don't think so, so. I can't even comment. Yeah, I don't think Next so. Next some Jared Smith, subject Brian Pillman. Hey, guys. Let I'm me really- just say something real quick, Disco, because I muted myself. By, and um, oh. I, I, wanted, I never saw that show, but I'm surprised that I haven't heard more about it if it was this bad as Joe and this other guy are saying. But you also got to remember, when you're in creative, you're trying to – a lot of different shit, and sh- sometimes shit feels like this. They m- would have hit a home run. It'd be a different story, but I-, I don't remember this. Next is from Jared Smith, subject Brian Pillman. Hey, guys. I really enjoyed the Brian Pillman episode of Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah. I was wondering what did you guys think of the Pillman and Austin gun angle in Raw. Also, do you guys believe Bischoff claimed that he was really working with Pillman to get his release from WCW? Thanks, as always. I have not watched this yet. I'm not, I'll be honest with you, bro. I'm not as big a fan as everybody else of these Dark Side of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, first of all, number one is they're not positive. It's always a negative spin in the business. It's the dark side of the ring. Secondly, um, I'm kind of upset that these guys didn't bother using Madden for this. Yeah. How could you do a Brian Pillman without Madden? Does Dave, Dave, I mean, like, does Melter, it, it Melter and Madden have a problem? Yeah, they do. Well, because this show But again, I think that Evan Huzzy guy has a problem with Madden, too. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think the guys that run the dark side of the ring don't don't don't, 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 don't like it. that. Evan Husney and these other guys. I, I don't know. I don't we, know who that is. Because we Meltzer them, we was on, and 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 this Kim Wood guy that was pl- Brian's one of Brian's close confidants was on, and he's buddies with Meltzer. So maybe they figured, or maybe Dave said something like, "You don't need Madden. I have this." I'm just speculating, of course. But I know so many stories from Madden have told me about Pillman stuff. The conversation we've had. Yeah. It, it, this should have been on the show. This is this, this this was malpractice. And uh, and shoddy journalism. Okay, by these guys do, doing a documentary usually on Brian Pillman and not your, talking about it. Usually, you got your title shoddy, for the next one. It is. Yeah. I mean, one hundred percent is because anybody in the business knows the relationship that Madden and Pillman had, and like not not uh, talking to, to Madden about this. You got you got a this thing could have been an A. It's a C, and I, don't, I haven't even seen it. But like, but based on the level of stuff you could have gotten from this, it's like you didn't even bother. Not to go mention. Go. That Madden would have given some good stories, and he's a great interview. Great interview. You know, I was going to ask, actually, uh, if, you know, since this show came out, if we could have Madden on to talk about it, but I didn't think Disco Especially would really be interested because he's not watching it, you know, not watching Dark Side, so. We can bring him on. What did you What Next. do you think about the second question, though? Did you Do you believe Eric when he says he worked with Pillman, or do you think Eric no got idea. worked and is embarrassed to admit it? it? I don't think so because, and you can ask Kevin Sullivan, because I remember... And I've told this story before, but Brian had called me and he wanted to go to Mexico. And I remember telling him, bro, compared to the money you're making in WCW, I cannot give you that type of money because I don't give a f- about the money. I want to prove to everybody that I can be a main event guy. Okay. So and, you know what we just, and, you know we just wait, did right there? Yeah. Because you just, re- on our YouTube this, this week. Right. Husey dropped uh, an interview where we're right. talking, we're, we're, with Jeff Hardy talking about filming. That's good right. stuff, yeah. And you just you told that exact same story. <laughs> oh, okay. No, yeah, whatever, whatever. Like, never... Everybody's getting a double up the green. Yeah, but that was five, that YouTube, was five, five years ago. Show, <laughs> don't think that like we're just repeating the stories that we have on YouTube like yeah. on those yeah. shows. No, dude, that, that, so, that was five years ago when Jeff yeah, was right. on. So. Yeah, that but, was a long time ago. It's funny it popped up. And, yeah, yeah. and the thing, right but, but, here's the, but here's the point I'm trying to make. So I remember talking to Kevin and going, hey, Kevin, you know, Brian called me and he wants to come down to Mexico and he was really mad because he felt uh, Br- Pillman had double crossed him. So I don't think Eric was in cahoots. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
There's a yeah, lot of thanks. guys later on down the line that claim. See, Pillman and his uh, like Meltzer and Kim Wood say no one knew except that triangle of people: D- uh, Brian Pillman, Dave Meltzer, and Kim Wood. But down the line, you know, DDP claims he was talking with Brian about it, and Jim Ross and Eric and uh, uh, Kevin. All these guys eventually claimed they were in on it. So really, if all these people were in on it, then nobody was in on it. But I don't know if it's people just trying to look smart or or whatever. You know, Jericho says he was in on it. Who cares? <laughs>